Hi there. I wanted to make a short tutorial on how to use mouse mux um, because I still get a lot of questions on uh, what the basic usage is. Um, so it's a small program but it has lots of functionality that's not that um, evident when you just run it. Um, so let me go through some of the functionalities. I've, I've opened up three windows so and there's paint.net, there's paint and there's a notepad instance. Um, I also have two mice, I've drawn it here, two mice on my system. So I have one on, on the right hand, one on the left hand. I just have one keyboard and that's it. So on my right hand, if I move it, you see in the main interface, you see one mouse going orange, right? So that's active. And if I move the other mouse, you'll see that one becoming orange. So already in native mode, which is sort of the basic startup mode, you can see which mouse is moving. <clears throat> Um, let's go to switched input. Switched input means you have um, two different cursors and you basically switch input for lots of things but not for everything. So for example, what I can do is move this window here but also draw, right? So one user can draw, the other can move or resize this window. That's all fine. Um, what I can also do is, for example, um, type in this window and, uh, and especially um, you can pair uh, a keyboard and a, and a mouse which then in turn becomes a user so currently I only have one keyboard on the system but I have five and I can add uh, and I have let's say five keyboards and five mice then I can have five different users each with a mouse and a keyboard now let's do a pairing and the pairing is, is pretty simple you move the mouse that you want to pair the keyboard to so in this instance user 2 and I First, I have to enable multi keyboard here. So, and I start typing, right? So, you see in the main interface that user 2 currently has the keyboard and the mouse, right? So, um, or it better, it has the keyboard paired with this mouse. So, I can keep on typing while the other user is drawing, right? So, one user is typing in a window, and the other person is drawing in a different window or doing whatever they want to do. Um, as far as configuration, both users can call up their configuration by pressing this button. Now if you move um, the cursor over there, you'll see the caption changing, right? So there, now it's user 1, now it's user 2. So whichever mouse moves over the button, it will open that configuration, right? So let's get both. All right, so you can also see for the green mouse, we actually have the keyboard here because it's paired with the green mouse. So this specific keyboard, so the, the Microsoft keyboard is, is paired to, uh, to the green mouse, All right? And you get some other different information. So the blue one is actually a, a, a marble mouse. Um, and you can see some additional information here. You can also change stuff. So for example, if I just want to change the acceleration for the blue, the blue user uh, and I want to emulate let's say Windows 8 there we go that's really fast okay maybe do that a bit slower all right all right that's already been there so um, the third um, mode you can use is multiplex mode and that is a bit more experimental. Uh, let me show you. All right, first we get a warning. In multiplex mode, what you basically do is that um, whenever a user, so if a cursor attached to a user presses on a specific application, it embeds part of mouse mux into the, the input layer of that program. So I've, I've clicked on uh, on the paint.net instance with the green cursor and I also clicked on paint with the blue one and now both can simultaneously paint right and in fact they can do whatever they want in the program but it's only it's limited to that program basically right so if I go and press on a start button with one of these um, it doesn't really work that well because you you basically inject part of the mouse mac program 
into uh, into Windows itself. But for individual applications, your mileage may vary, but most applications work fine. So you can do whatever you want, you know, concurrently. So and if you have three users, one can type in a window, another can paint, another can browse, whatever you want. I think this is the the basic operation that you should uh, know about. And if you have any questions, feel free to write me an email. Thank you.